Tonight, two of the most successful non-VCS programs in the country meet for the first time as VCU hosts Belmont. And that means there's havoc in the forecast here in Richmond. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Verizon Wireless Arena here in Richmond, Virginia, where tonight the VCU Rams host the Belmont Bruins and also their 22nd consecutive sellout crowd. We expect a festive environment. John Laser, extremely pleased to be with you alongside Mike Litos. And Mike, VCU has certainly gained national acclaim along with their celebrity head coach, Shaka Smart, for their up-tempo style over the last couple of years. But in actuality, Rick Bird and his Belmont Bruins have been having success with this very same style for years. Yeah, 27 years for Rick Bird. He's the seventh winningest coach among all active coaches. They love to get up and down the court, pressure you, good defense, and they love to get after it. Belmont's coming into this hostile environment. How do they handle the Rams tonight? Well, they're going to have to handle the pressure. They have a senior backcourt, and they're going to need them against 40 minutes of pressure from VCU. They're going to have to handle Javante Reddick. The big man plopped a 16-13 and double-double on NBA lottery pick Mason Plumlee, and they're going to have to handle the crowd. The way Havoc works, a steal, a three, the crowd goes wild, and they really get after it. Rams, big news out of their camp just about an hour or so. They'll be without point guard Darius Theus. They need to establish their identity, among other things. No doubt about it. Darius Theus, the leader of this team, a kid like Briante Weber is really going to have to take over the emotional reins. They're also going to have to establish the offensive glass. They're a very good rebounding team, and Belmont is a little bit smallish of a team, so that's an area for them to establish. And finally, they've got to establish the arc. VCU has been struggling from behind the arc as of late. Belmont, a great three-point shooting team. And on that arc, they're going to find prolific scorer Ian Clark. How can they try to contain him this evening? Yeah, they just have to get a hand in his face. Shaka Smart wants to play physical with him, not let him get good looks. So they figure if we can minimize his looks and make him uncomfortable, that will minimize the makes. On the interior, maybe the key for the Rams. That's where Javante Reddick lives, and he has been exploding of late. Well, he's got a great little baby jump hook, but the thing that makes Javante Reddick great, John, is he can go out and shoot the face-up 15-footer. He can shoot it in transition. Just a great all-around arsenal for Javante Reddick. Similar styles on display here in Richmond. VCU hosting the Belmont Bruins. Starting lineups and all the action are next from Richmond. Belmont with the early lead as we look at the nationwide insurance starting lineup for the VCU Rams. As the foul comes on Craig Bradshaw, checked in on the timeout for Belmont. Reddick completes the three-point play. We're even. You're seeing tired plays now on defense from Belmont. They just never challenged Trevion Graham from 15 feet. To look at it again right here. I think Reddick realized it wasn't going to go down, and I don't think it was going to, but I think he got there just a touch early. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. We'll give the officials credit for getting it right. A decidedly one-sided first half in favor of the home team. VCU leads Belmont 39-21. We go inside the numbers at the half. Brought to us by R.J. Young, providing the Southeast with the highest quality office equipment and innovative document solutions for over 50 years. A little more prettiness to the game right now, huh? Absolutely. Belmont finding their way. And Travion Graham finally finds VCU's way from outside. And that's probably exactly what this team needed to get the crowd back into it, reestablishing the 11-point lead. Much better rhythm and flow to this game than at any point in the first half. Clark. Uh-huh. Wow. And here we go. This is what we thought we were getting. <laughs> Clark probably four steps behind the three-point line, shaking his head back at the fans again. The Nags are back in the stable, and the thoroughbred showed up coming out of the half. We got a barrage of threes. And finally, fast and furious offense. VCU, however, has had their lead trimmed to eight by a pesky Bruins team here in Richmond. Brandon Burr. Yes, and one, and right on the mark. You and I are heading out to go buy some lottery tickets, John. That's a great, a great call on your part. <laughs> it's been this way all night long. Momentary momentum for Belmont. Yeah, you're just exactly right. VCU just pushing the ball up court as quickly as possible. He's prone to those lulls where he disappears in games, and he's prone to, you know, having a lack of confidence because things aren't going his way. That's something they're working on with him. 
Shaka Smart has actually meditated with Rob Brandenburg at times just to see if he can't get him going any way he can. We had a lot of fun bringing you this ball game, a 10-point win for VCU from my broadcast partner Mike Litos and our entire crew. John Laser saying so long from Richmond.